All right, we're getting into it. 808 versus Zane. 808's been on a bit of a tear, uh, at least on stream. We've seen him do really well with uh, K. Rule. But now he's got to fight Zane, and uh, we haven't seen Zane for a while. Miss you, Zane. Love, love to see you. Uh, good to have you, buddy. Um, but yeah, uh, Zane has a crazy duck hunt, and man, these are the characters that are like weird. So I don't know how they, I don't know how they fight. I'm gonna assume that the zoner character is gonna give K. Rule a lot of stress. We'd assume that, but like remember, he does have a, in a way, does have a reflector. And yeah. he also has like the crown, which basically does not give a crap about what the hell is in front of it. It's gonna go on his journey and then come yeah. back, unless you reflect it. Oh my god! I like the can usage. Dude, can we talk about how the bluster, the blunder shot, whatever it's called, like it hit the, it hit the can, and so it made the cannonball go back into the gun, and then he shot it into the can again, and then exploded himself. Good lord, yeah, Zane! Man. Did you know that was going to happen? Something. I wouldn't put it past you. Okay. I appreciate the frame one can to get out of that. Ugh. Oh my Ugh. god. Not Come a, on! Not That's enough, not though. Fair. Yeah, it wasn't enough. It's still a very weak spike, all the instances. Yeah, and basically no rage uh, when, he, when they went for it. Oh boy. <laughs> Bro. Also, Play Pigeon field. is ridiculous. Alright, I'm tired of this song. <laughs> we went for it. Okay. K. Rool is kind of low-key terrifying to go after off stage. Yeah. No, K. Rool is definitely scary to go against. Like, you just go, you're like, look, please just come on the stage. He, he kind of plays like, like Rob, like in Brawl, where you're just like, look, I can't do anything <laughs> on stage, so I'm just going to hang out over here. Oh, I guess the modern day equivalent would be like, Plays like John, just hangs on the ledge. I don't know. What are you gonna do? He's super heavy. Wow, getting hit over 200% and not even entering the magnifying glass. Remember, uh, the knockback is based on which of the gunmen hits, uh, which of the gunmen it is that he pulls out. And he actually got the strong one, the uh, the guy with the the, black, the brown jacket. Finally, and he went. He almost. He basically survived. All right. So good even match, stocks. 97 damage. <sighs> I mean, considering how long uh, 808 lived that last stock, uh, kind of a bigger deficit than you, you want. Oh boy. This is stressful. This yeah, is no, stressful. Here we see one of Duck Hunt's biggest issues is that Duck Hunt isn't allowed to set up properly. Uh, they're not able to kill, and the crown just plows through everything. Get up attack, get up attack. Okay. He was close enough, I'm pretty sure. You might die. Unless, this? Yeah. yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, full stock lead here for 808. Uh, Zane was doing well-ish in the beginning, but I, I guess 808's just kept up the paces. Like, he's been keeping that uh, not equal and opposite reactions, but he, he be magnifying them. Like, we're, we're just like, look at this, but then, look, he didn't even enter the magnifying yeah, no. glass. It's a heavy character. And on Battlefield, too. All right. Nope. Wow, God, he moves so slow from even being exploded. All right. Zane's actually doing an incredibly good job of just, like, damage after damage after damage after damage. Yet They haven't taken any hits this whole time. And, like, if they're able to get this kill now, then it'll be even, uh, basically... I'm kind of tight that K. Rool's crown can go through the stage like that and come back to him. Careful, careful, careful! Oh, oh, ah, 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 not dead yet, ah. but damn, this is pretty bad! Alright. Alright, good up air from the ledge to, uh, to hit. Finally gonna take K. Rool off the top there. Now, 100 damage. This is actually a repeat of stock 2, basically. Zane was at 100 by the time uh, they got uh, K. Roll to. What? Yeah. What? Wow. I can hit? That still has a hitbox after like it hit something else? 
I, I guess the more you know. Let's see this again. So that got okay. Yeah, no, he he did a jumping tech. He, he was he was ready for the. Uh, he was ready to get hit by the cannonball. Clearly, or at least like he reacted. Oh, they reacted. Oh, fast that's enough. how he. Oh, I forgot how Zane lost their first stock. Oh my. Okay. Yeah, here's uh, 808 living to 255 after hit. Oh my. Yeah, no, Zane's having a Zane's been having a really hard time trying to confirm any kind of kill. Uh, just because Duck Hunt needs to be able to get like a clay pigeon set up, but because Crown has super armor and Blunderbuss basically stops the clay pigeon in its tracks because it has a hurt box. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of rough. Battlefield's also just not a great stage if you're trying to fight. It just feels like more as you'll take a roll. It's a battlefield that you really shouldn't fight everyone on the stage. Yeah, I can understand that. Like, unless your character has like OD combos, I don't know. It's still kind of scary. Because he, like, the, the K-Roll just uses the platforms like, so well. And again, like for the third time in a row, 808's being taken to PS2 game three, game two. Yeah, it just keeps happening. Just every single person that he fights. <laughs> Learn from his past opponent's mistakes. I beg, I, don't I think that gets a necessarily a mistake because they all seem to do better game three anyways. Uh, game two anyways on PS2. That's just the, that's the like point. I'm like just saying, just start there. Oh yeah. You know, we see like the the the, the smaller platforms is helping Zane approach a lot better because he's not uh, they're not able to use Clay Pigeon at all like as a uh, as an approaching tool because of Crown and Blunderbuss. Yeah, it's such a good like harassment option that uh, Carol is just able to nullify. But it's not going to matter for that stock. Now, now the shoe's on the other foot. Uh, we have a full stock lead for Zane. So, and this is always like when you have the heavies, like when they're at the deficit and you have to approach them. Rot row. Mm -hmm. Zekon's well, definitely a character that can schmix uh, if they're really feeling themselves. But man, when uh, when they're not doing great, uh, <sighs> it's kind of rough. Okay. Jumping into their own can. Oh. I do like the use of the can to cover uh, to cover the descent. Right there. I just realized oh that... Oh my uh, lord! So much. Hit stop. I just realized that, uh, that Zane's tag is 888. Yeah. Which I'm like, bro, what you doing? I don't know what it means. So. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, I appreciate the use of the can there to uh, stop the. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, Zane's just kind of running away with this one right now. Both, uh, literally and figuratively, they got the yeah. lead, and they're just like, "Hey, come, come get me." And uh, by the way, gonna finally do it. Ooh, ooh. I didn't go for it immediately. No surprising there, but ooh, nice combos. All right. Sick nasty, sick nasty. Dog getting stepped on. Very sad. All right, that was like. Just keeping it up right now, just constant harassment. Although, 808's doing a pretty good job of like. He got Zane's percent really high pretty quickly, but that's gonna be not it, because we're super heavy. We're super obese. We've been eating way too much. Oh. Too many golden bananas. Wow, I dude. really like the cantrics. That's just kind of keeping it away on this turn, soft stage. I'm curious if 808 actually does get this stock, which he does. Jeez. Is this doable? I 
It's rough. It's not impossible, though. Not by any stretch of the imagination. But a big part of it's going to be, like, how does uh, Zayn decide to approach? Oh. Never mind. That's death. Okay. <laughs> There's no way in hell that's going to survive survival. All right. Zayn taking game two. You can see like the, 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 the loss of a platform and like the fact that there's so much extra open space gave Zane so many extra opportunities to uh, to really just use their projectile like much more effectively. And also just be able to approach from the air a lot better. Like K Rool likes being under a platform because they can use Blunderbuss to move around in the air and Crown is a lot harder to punish uh, appropriately. Ooh. Ooh, la la. I'm gonna check what Zane's uh, bands were. Unless they were going to Smashville for game three. Uh, I respect it, that's a pretty good choice from uh, 808 for a counter pick. Okay. Yeah, okay, I can. I totally. I totally understand this counter pick. You know, just picking yeah. Smash really is just like, look, I don't want you to be able to get away from me. And now the crown just covers so much real estate uh, of the stage. It's just so hot. Such a high percentage of the stage. Yeah. But on the flip side, uh, it's a lot harder for 808 to use to, to cover ledge options now. There's also the fact that, oh my god, Zane has the crown. Never mind, Zane lost the crown. Oh no! How unfortunate. Okay. We in there? We on the moon? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, dude. Everything was going so well for Zane until the moment that they, that uh, that they hit the blunt the this, yeah. ball, this is and what... it fell right back into the blunderbuss, and that's when everything turned around. Yeah, this is what 808 wants. If if Zane isn't able to see a lot of kill uh, soon, uh, this might this might end up going in the bag. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. Oh, I respect oh, that air dodge. attempt there. All right. Good use of the can, good trajectory. Unfortunately, hitting uh, 808 during the super armor. Ooh. You do not want to be there. That would have killed 100%. Almost. Oh, stuff me out. This is best of three. And then we have the strong gunman, but that means that it's out of the rotation for a bit. But an up air managed to take stock at 175. Right. Uh, I'm seeing Zane flashbacks to game top. one here. And yeah, we know Zayn uh, managing to open up pretty early. Maybe they can turn this into something. Thank you for the two bits. The awesome what? 47. Woo! All right. Yeah, this is right now kind of like somewhat replaying the how the stock progression went off in game one. But Zane ooh, Zane play finally, pigeon. This might yeah. be the start of something. Finally turning that on, on its head, and oh boy, now oh, we're super so even. Sick. That might be not enough. Okay, care. Ooh. ooh, scary stuff. Okay. All right. Nice can place. Zane. It wait not able to make it back. Yeah. It, and, all right. Well, uh, we're not gonna see any nope, stock leads anymore in this game. We're on last stock zero zero. Let's see what ha let's see what happens. Four minutes on the clock, so Oof. there's plenty of time for them to just hate each it other. It is so absurd, like how terrible. Whoa! How did that not hit him? Oh boy! Oh god! Up! Oh, yeah! Oh! No. oh! oh Actually landing on the no. cannon. Oh man! Nice. Get up attack cat. Uh, stuffing his jump. Don't even know what he was going to probably in a tough go for position. Back they got to figure out how to get back on the stage before they get absolutely demolished. Oh man, if 808 had opted to uh, fly back, <gasps> that's wow. The clay pigeon actually like just completely ignoring it, just like I don't care, man. I have belly armor. My tum tum too strong for you. 
And with that, 808 uh, upsets first seed and moves on into winner's uh, semis. Yeah. We're going to face the winner of Zack versus Big Boy Cupcake. I'm serious about that one. All right, yeah, 808 moving on. 2-1 versus Zane. Yeah, good stuff uh, to 808. Doing really well. Yeah. Apparently, 808 a, uh, is a New England player. Yeah. Uh, I don't see if they're actually PR'd anywhere, but for them. Yeah, I remember seeing 808's name at, like, Overclocked and stuff. All right. Yeah, here's where we get the instant rebuttal. Boom, boom. Oh, boy. Jeez. 